Hello guys, my name is Jay and for today's video, I will show you how to create a dialog window to select a file or folder using the ticket intern library in Python. So before I go into the uh, tutorial, let me show you what I'm trying to do. So here I have a uh, .bat file and so here's my uh, Python script. And what I'm trying to do is, when I execute the .bat uh, file, and I'm going to have a, a window dialog that will pop up. And from this point, I can pick a file. And I can pick any file I want. And when I click on open, the terminal window will display the path of the file that I just select. So like, so like what I have right now, uh, the Word document file. So let me increase the, the file size a little bit bigger. And that's it. So this is pretty useful when you want to create a program and you need to have a user to slide a file or a folder in from their desktop. So now let's go to the uh, the Python environment. So we can start right the, the program. And first I'm going to uh, create a brand new Python script. I'm going to uh, put the uh, interactive window on the right hand side. And for the first step, we need to import the library and the class. So I'm going to import the uh, ticket inter uh, module and I'm going to uh, name the module as TK. If I'm using Python version 2 and so the, uh, the the module name will be uh, capital T since I'm using Python uh, 3.5 and the module name is actually uh, lowercase t uh, TK enter. Okay. I'm also going to import the uh, file dollar class so TK enter uh, import the file dialog uh, class and now we can go ahead and uh, create the degree so the window dialog uh, window and so I'm going to uh, create the, the root variable and it's going to and it's going to be the frame and next I'm going to use the word draw and then I'm going to create a file path variable so the file path variable basically will be the uh, the file that you select. It's going to uh, pass the uh, folder path and to the file path variable. And so file log, file dialog dot as open file name, and that will be the function. And then we can just print the file path, and that's it. So when I execute the uh, the program, I don't want the, the the uh, screen to close immediately. So I'm just going to use the input input function and press any key to exit. And I'm going to save this file to I have a dialog window folder. So I'm going to name this uh, pi dialog. So now if I run uh, just the, the script and execute run and save. I should save a run and as you can see a dialog window pop up and I'm going to select a different file um, so here's my notes folder and I'm going to just pick a SQL script and right here database uh, underscore photography and so here's the file name and open uh, file path is not defined yet. oh oops there's a typo okay let me try again oh I should have forgot to exit okay and so let me pick the file again and open. And here's the uh, so here's the file path that we just select. And I'm going to create the uh, .bat file. So let me drag my uh, folder right here. So to create the, the execution file, which is the uh, .bat file, I'm going to create a brand new text text document. And I'm going to leave the the name as as it is right now. And so the code, the script is echo off. And then we want to use, uh, type the word Python, which is Python to execute the Python script. Uh, then you want to input the uh, file name. So py dialog.py. And I'm going to save this file as a uh, BAT format. I'm going to rename this file to something else. So let's call uh, dialog window. And that's it. 
So it's going to save this file and close the text file. Now I can delete the, the, the text document file that was just created. Okay. So now when you run the uh, .bat file, and a window.log will pop up and pick file. Uh, simple says for this class example. And we pick the file. Uh, the script is going to print the uh, file directory. Just play on your terminal window. And here we have the, the input that we need to uh, press any key to exit. So I'm going to press any key and that's to exit the program. And if we want to select multiple files, uh, you just change the as open file name to as open file names and this will allow you to select multiple files and now if I execute uh, the script so let me uh, go back to my folder and so run this file and so now I can select multiple files and click on open and this will actually display a set so all the file directory uh, address pad display using the comma as separator and if I want to uh, choose the folder so you change the uh, as file op as open file names to as directory and this will allow you to select the, the folder path so this is everything I want to cover in this video if you found this video useful please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and talk to you guys soon bye bye